My squad is my family. I am Bloodhunter. You can call me Bloodhound. Where I grew up, everything wanted to kill me. This will be relaxing. <coughs> welcome, welcome, everybody. My name is Leo Volt, or as you can see on the screen, in case of fire. And I'm going to be doing another How To Watson video today on a favorite mode of mine, on a favorite map of mine, with a favorite Watson skin of mine, the Chaos Conductor, which I would prefer the old name, but you know, what can you say? We're gonna run this Havoc Wingman. Uh, we're gonna go take C, we're gonna go get that pylon going so we can help take control. Uh, one of the reasons why this is one of my favorite maps is because there's a lot of ways to play control. Sometimes you want to play very linearly and take A, B, C. Uh, sometimes maybe B is too tired and you want to jump straight to C. Sometimes people go straight to A and it gets, uh, and it gets hairy. So we got to see, looks like they ran to be very quickly. Anyways, in these videos, um, I'm going to be kind of going through my thought process of how I play as a player, specifically a Watson player, uh, and the decisions that I make to try to... Havoc, even if at <laughs> this close range, because I really want to get it to gold and I want to get the uh. Oh shit. There we go, that's kind of a. Ooh, I should explain that in just a moment, but let me double check on these fences around these swords, these are all good. We'll put an extra one here just to be safe. Okay, so something I've done here that I think you guys should learn as a Watson player is these two nodes here, as you can see, are active, but they're not connected. If I open them, it turns them off. And sometimes they're all they need to distract a player, uh, to win a fight against them. Sometimes people who are running through it, who are just running through it for no reason, maybe if they're all alone and the fence is there, can activate it and get slowed by it. It'll t let you know that somebody is coming through a certain area, plus it'll damage them, slow them. It'll give them a little bit of a lesson to double check their doors the next time they go through. It's a cheeky lesson. It's a cheeky thing to do. It's not gonna just, it's not gonna get the same person twice. Like such as that uh, Arcane, who's being very careful about his decisions. Uh, we have total fucking control of this inner building. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> so yes, and as you can see there, what happened with that octane? It was he was just simply, I think, distracted by it a little bit, which did not allow him to line his shots up as well. Because to be honest, he had the he had to drop on me a little better. So this is getting a little boring. Um, I know Watson's love to have control in the end, but I would prefer to also... I would prefer to also, like, play a game and make a difference. Really can't make that jump. 
Are any of these mine? Octagon in the building. He's just king. I'm gonna push these. No, I don't want to push these guys. No, because I'm just gonna just die immediately and my heavy is that purple. Let's go back towards C. Looks like we took it, but. Where was that? I wonder. Looks like they're still up there. Okay, maybe not. I guess we just need to be patient and take our time. Look at this guy. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh boy. I got low ground. I don't want to time somebody's trying to press you or place defense so they don't get any funky ideas. He doesn't want to come by here. She doesn't want to come by here. The horizon may be the only one with the ability to move through. <laughs> hopefully a run while he was reloading but uh, lots of delay as you can see with those fences it really causes players to focus try to think about what they're doing that uh, Ash got away from me lucky her oh and um, I got switch cheese and it gives you time to try to think about okay where do I want to place myself what do I what can I expect to happen etc what if I drop there and I'll do it? Oh, okay, here we go. That sounds... Oh, this is my habit, yes. Sir, oh my goodness, you got me fucking dripping. Sorry, I should be cut. Let's hold this room, this will be fun. Alright. I just want this gold habit, that's what I want in my life. get that uh that havoc back i need to pick up that havoc well before put me somewhere close to it please no sir please leave me alone i beg of you I think he was gonna leave me alone and I turned around and revealed my position. I think I need to just start over with the what did I just change? Okay. Bummer. Um but we were really holding that place. I kinda wanted to push a little aggressively, throw some fences up. Um but I 
taking a moment to heal. Since there's infinite ammo, I just kind of like empty quick every time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just having a little fun now. But we need to take back C. B, as you can see, I that's that's mastery of B right there. That's showing that you know you had the place. No one is you're not like allowing anybody inside. Fences and pylons constantly keeping everything up and moving as lovely as it should. Let him run away, let's focus on the mission that we have. Right, could you not do anything like that? Hello, sir. She's weak. Uh, no, don't ruin my wingman kill. <laughs> my goodness, but um, that's also how you do something as a watchman. Just um, whip out the wingman, as you see in the trailers, and show people what kind of a demon you really are. Octanes do not get away from me like that. Okay, so we have C. I'm not sure if we're getting pushed here or not, but it looks like there's a small fight at B, and I hope people want to move towards it. Uh, no, I can't throw a grenade at this, right? My pylon is in there. Uh, which way do we go in? So we need to destroy those pylons and replace it with ours. So I think that's where this wingman comes in best. So I can open the door and... Almost had that ash. Oh my goodness, but it was... Thank goodness for that pylon placement right there, because that started healing up my shields very quickly and allowing me to have a little bit of an edge and I almost had it. Have I been able to pull down my havoc a little better? And time, let's jump on top of this thing. Is that possible? Yeah, here we go. Ooh, this horizon. That was a very close match. Um, but I had a little fun there towards the end, as you can see. Um, but I very much enjoyed being able to hold B and show what it looks like holding down a room. With two Watsons, of course, it's nothing but uh, absolute fence chaos. And you're not going to have... You're not going to have very many smart people wanting to push you. Many, not many, many players are going to want to see that and be like, hmm, that looks like fun. Most players are going to just do something else like they, as you see, they attack to see. And in a battle royale is very different, of course, you know, I want to be able to show people how to be a Watson for ranked games to move as far as possible. But in these kind of modes, it gives me the opportunity to really show off a lot quickly in a short amount of time. For you guys to kind of gain an idea of what it is to be a Watson player. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed. GG's and have fun out there.